Hi, it's Katie Harris from Philly Wellness Center, and this is a mitochondria code, and we're talking about membranes. So how do you repair damaged membranes, right? So we're, we've talked about how important membranes are, but uh, what do you do when they're impacted, when they're, when they're damaged? Uh, the good news is, is that your cells are built to to repair, right? It's um, they're very amenable to um, being rebuilt. So even after decades of oxidative stress, inflammation, or even toxin exposure, your body still remembers how to rebuild itself. It's it's amazing, right? But you have to give it the right materials. And that all starts with rebuilding your cell membranes. So the thin, intelligent walls that hold the blueprint of life. That's what your cell membranes are. But when they break down, everything depends on them suffers, such as your energy, hormones, mood, metabolism, all that stuff. And when we restore them, we when we literally rebuild the structure of life, everything begins to work again. It's it's like magic, but it's not. It's it's biochemistry. So how do we do that? Let's talk about the three fats that rebuild your membranes. And this is going to challenge a lot of conventional beliefs out there. So uh, hang in there with me. The first one is phosphatidylcholine. So phosphatidylcholine is the builder. It makes up half of every cell membrane in the body. It's a liquid crystal that keeps the membranes fluid and flexible. But when you're young, your body produces plenty of phosphatidylcholine, not a problem. But as you age, or if you've had toxin exposure, mold, poor diet, these levels will plummet. And that's when we use phosphatidylcholine therapy. So we have phosphatidylcholine oral um, in pills, you can take it liposomally, um, and we do it intravenously. So we'll give it IV, especially in you know really dramatic cases or where time is of the essence, such as cardiovascular disease, stroke patients, concussions. Um, these all get IV phosphatidylcholine. But it's like replacing broken tiles in a mosaic. You have to do it one cell at a time. So plasmalogens, they're special phospholipids. These are protectors and they're special phospholipids and they have a very special, um, it's called an antioxidant oxidant tail, okay? And they shield the membranes from oxidative stress before damage happens. So low levels are linked to basically everything. Like when you run out of plasmalogens, you basically die. So low levels are linked to Alzheimer's, to Parkinson's, to chronic fatigue, not because they cause these conditions, but because they represent a loss of resilience at the cellular level. When you restore them and we restore plasmalogens, there's only one way to restore uh, plasmalogens exogenously, right? The, the body can make plasmalogens. It might not be able to make enough. So if you need to take plasmalogens, you can take plasmalogen cursors. And the only way to do that is through prodrome.com using prodrome neuro, prodrome glia, uh, and then supporting nutrient cofactors like B vitamins and, and um, you know, uh, alpha lipoic acid, uh, stuff like that. Uh, once your plasmalogens come back online, your brain fog lifts, your focus sharpens, and energy stabilizes because your cells can finally hold charge again. And then cholesterol, uh, the, that's the stabilizer. We've demonized cholesterol for decades, but it's absolutely vital for membrane strength and hormone balance. A total cholesterol between 200 and 250 is where you want to be for stabilization of cell membranes. If you don't have enough cholesterol, your membranes become too fluid, like a soap bubble ready to burst. So healthy cholesterol, the, the kind that makes the, the body makes it naturally, right? The liver makes it. You don't have any control over your cholesterol level. If your cholesterol level is high, it's because the body needs it. If it's low, it's because it doesn't have the energy to make cholesterol. And, and then you have real problems. But um you know, it this will anchor your membrane and it keeps your voltage steady. So cholesterol, extremely, extremely important. It's not something that you want to block or treat. All right. So together, these three things, phosphatidylcholine, plasmalogens, and cholesterol, they rebuild your cellular architecture. They restore the electrical field that powers every metabolic reaction. And that happens when that happens, your mitochondria can finally do their job, produce clean, efficient energy. So to rebuild that, um, to protect the rebuilding process, we add antioxidants like glutathione, CoQ10, uh, even methylene blue. 
oxygen therapies, uh, red light therapies, ozone, these can all improve the mitochondrial charge. Liver support, bile flow, because bile, ca bile carries out old oxidized fats and replaces them with new ones. So that's all linked together. You can't fix a broken house with bad building materials and your body's no different. So healing starts at the membrane. At Philly Wellness Center, we build, we rebuild health from the inside out using these exact principles to restore vitality, cognition, and energy at the cellular level. Because when your membranes are strong, your voltage rises, and when the voltage rises, then you can heal. Be sure to subscribe to the Mitochondria Code so that you can get the next episode where we're going to talk about how you can protect and supercharge your cell membranes.